what it is back at with a brand new video for you guys today. Happy Friday! Okay, I'm excited. We got a teaser like a couple of days ago, and now we are finally here. Dying Light 2, Stay Human, official gameplay trailer to y'all. Just kick back. This shit is almost eight minutes long, so just sit there. Let's do this, shall we? About a three, two, one. I'm excited. I'm seeing something edited to avoid spoilers. Okay, yes, that's true. Hey, everyone. We've been quiet for some time. Since, like the rest of the world, we had some unforeseen hurdles to clear. But the wait is over. Okay. Let's dive into the open world of Dying Light 2. The last slice of Dying Light 2 showcased the mission from the main storyline. You get after those fuck. You saw how your decisions influenced the narrative and notably changed the environment. This time, we want to give you a broader look at the game and a sneak peek at some of the things we'll be talking about in upcoming months. The world looks way bigger. In Dying Light 2, you become Aiden Caldwell, an outsider trying mm. to unravel a tangled mystery from his past. Its trail leads him to the city probably the last bastion of mankind in the world. Oh my. Oh, shit! This motherfucker got a hoodie on. And he got a beanie. <laughs> At first, you feel like this intense, brutal place will tear you apart. But then you meet the Night Runners, veteran survivors who help people in better days. Hey. By the way, I'm Hakon. You were a Night Runner. Who used to help people? Remember? My runners are gone. They're finished. A myth. And although it's not entirely clear you can trust them, you need allies in the dark. <laughs> and these are the modern Dark Ages. It's been 15 years since the apocalypse, and the world has changed. The old civilization has fallen, but a new one has been built on its ashes. People fight desperately for scarce resources. The rules are broken, and weakness is punished. She's innocent! Three factions struggle for position in the city. Survivors pride themselves on being able to adapt to any circumstances and cobble together safe zones almost everywhere. Peacekeepers, loyal soldiers, who want to impose their version of law and order and trample all in their path. Renegades, ex-prisoners serving their ruthless colonel, seeking to become sole rulers of the city. Where is Waltz? Make it tough. Use these factions to reach your goal. Help or harm them to reshape the city to your liking. Just remember, each faction contains complex characters. Nosy Parker, ain't ya? Got some kind of bad habit of yours? So, will you follow cold calculation or your heart? The bazaar needs good people. Help us and you'll find a home here. Some in the city offer no chance for an alliance. Bandits, outlaws, and common thugs live only to plunder and kill, plunging Obviously. the streets into chaos. <laughs> Yet, nightfall scares all of them equally. Darkness changes the rules of the world. As the light fails, monsters crawl out of hiding to prey on they the poor souls out caught outside the safety of UV but rays. Hordes of infected pour into the streets like decaying lava. The deadly spawn of 15 years of mutation and evolution. Oh, this is only a 
escape, exploit the city's verticality and flee to the roofs. Though even there, you are never safe from swift and deadly virals. Even greater threat. Shit, motherfucker. Yet night brings opportunity as well. Nests rife with infected during the day now lie empty. To explore them, you must tread carefully. I have to play online with my this shit. But those brave Help. enough to face the terrors of the night can loot a jackpot. You have all the tools you need to survive. Oh, we Your on extraordinary wall? parkour skills allow you to navigate even the most Damn. treacherous terrain. On the roofs, you can count on your parkour acrobatics to save your life. But often, you'll have to face I'm your enemies head on, lip, uh, and upgrade. then you have to be smart, resourceful, and determined. <laughs> We've worked hard on the essence of our combat, making sure swinging a big, meaty weapon is fun, satisfying, and well executed. But even the most brutal fights can be tactical as well. You have multiple Ooh, like ways that. to hone your he skills said, toward the here. gameplay style that suits you best. Yeah. It's up That's to you if you focus game. mostly on mobility and With parkour, or aggressive, blunt force combat, or a crafty approach where the Ooh. tools you've created get the job done. Every ability you learn can be a game changer and possibly a new favorite move. Things move fast and quick in Dying Light 2. Each really moment matters. Each move could mean triumph or defeat. Do you know? Choose your actions and friends carefully. Everything right. you, you do in the everybody. city can reshape the gameplay environment, change the course of the narrative, and decide the fate of the city's oh, residents. Damn. But most importantly, you, you decide you your own nothing. fate as well. You're about to turn. Make sure turn. to stay human. Release <laughs> date. December 7th. Oh shit. December 7th. Okay, so. Seven months. Fuck. <laughs> pre order available now, y'all. Pre. I'm scared to pre order, though. Let me tell you why. Cause. I don't have a PlayStation 5 yet. I don't even get on my PlayStation 4 like that. Like, it's been a minute since I was on a PlayStation 4, like, you know, because I want the 5. But Sony or whoever is holding them hostage. What the I'm supposed to do, son? I want the 5. Let me tell you something. My birthday is in September. If I don't have one by September, seriously, I don't know who's holding them hostage, but I need one. Life is Strange is coming out, I believe, that same month. I literally got almost got a tear coming out. Where's the PlayStation 5s at? Hell no. I want one. This ain't right, y'all. Like, I don't know what, what else to do. Like, I'm tired of waiting. It came out late last year. How long I gotta wait? You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I like what I saw. Mm -hmm. Almost eight minutes of gameplay. This looks like it's gonna be good. I'm gonna be doing hella upgrades to um, Aiden. You know what I'm saying? The kicks, the stumps, the weapons, everything. You know what I'm saying? And when the nighttime comes, I'm gonna probably make sure I'm gonna be in a safe house or something. Because them big bitches is big bitch. I was like, hold on, bitch. Hold on. But yeah. I'm loving this. I'm glad it's finally coming out after two years of waiting. Two years. 
panoramic at all, bitch. I'm excited. With that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, please, please, please hit the like button. Comment below your thoughts on Dying Light 2. Stay human, okay? Who was your favorite, I mean, what was your favorite, um, if you can think back, what was your favorite moment in the first Dying Light with the one and only Crane? Was it the DLC? Was it the original story itself? Um, it was a hell of a game. I'll say that. Like, and then when Crane turned with the DLC, what was it called? With the evil looking ass bald headed lady? Like, she looked like she could be Mrs. Freddy Krueger or something. Or his aunt or his sister or something like that. Like, when he was like turning into one of those things and that roar that he let out, I'm like, bitch. But it was good. You know what I'm saying? It was real good. So you guys let me know it was like some of your favorite moments from the first Dying Light. And uh, what are you looking forward to doing in the second Dying Light? Dying Light 2 Stay Human online, the story. Let me know in the comment section. And guys, once again, thank you on the 3K subscribers. Now I want to do a Q&A. So please drop your questions in the comment section below. Go ahead. Feel free to do so. I want to do that soon. So yeah. And if there's anything else I can react to for you guys, let me know in the comment section. Hit that subscribe button. Follow my Instagram. Hit that notification bell. button to you guys know the video below it. I'll see you all in a minute. Say the rain. I'm out.